I thought it was a joke when he first told me. <laughs> I really did. I didn't think it was real. I was like, was you're having a you're having a laugh. But yeah, really excited. Uh, I'm a bit nervous myself. Uh, excited and nervous, to be honest. Uh, it's been a bit of a trek getting down here, but uh, really excited to see the stadium and be here now. Uh, yeah, once in a lifetime chance. The main thing I want to get out today is obviously the uh, coaching opportunity and uh, for a lot of us to advance our skills and uh, obviously take those through into next season and uh, try and get as much knowledge from him as possible. Uh, crazy. <laughs> My name's Matt Lovell, I'm the nutritionist for the England rugby squad. That involves responsibility for everything they eat and drink. Really any way you can enhance performance through using nutrition, food and supplements. Okay fellas, what we're going to do is we're going to weigh you all before and after this training session in minimal clothing and that way we can assess how much fluid you've lost and then what kind of hydration strategies you need to put in place after that. Wait for the scales to zero and then hop on. 104.3, brilliant. 101.4, thank you. Okay, next up. 71.4. The England players use a number of different fluids to stay hydrated before, during and after a game. From about 10 in the morning they'll take something called Paro Pro, which is a mixture of sugars with a higher concentration of sodium, so it enables you to use the fluids more effectively in the body. And then getting close to the game, they'll drink a higher percentage carbohydrate power drink. And of course they'll drink plenty of water that whole time too. Fellas, as what we're going to do as well, for 10, for 10 of you, we're going to do uh, hydration monitoring with a urine sample. Initial your pot please, so I know who you are. So we're just putting a little bit of urine in the top of the osmolality checker. Pressing the button and it's giving us a number. So the number there's 470. We've got, we've got, serious, we've got the serious and lightweight back line. And basically that means that Wal Walworth is quite well hydrated. So above 600 is becoming dehydrated. Over 800 is, is dehydrated. That's, that's the sort of cut off point that we use. I'm the, yeah, fully read the number nine. Yeah, you're very well hydrated. Yeah. Yeah. Is that that's that's about the same as tap water, so it's hydrated. Yeah. <laughs> Five seventy. That's the first score we've had, which is close to becoming dehydrated. If you were over six hundred, you would be in what we call an amber zone, which, which would mean if you if you trained without taking in too many fluids, then you would become dehydrated by the end of the session. Okay, welcome fellas and uh, welcome to the England dressing room. Niceties out of the way. One thing we do expect when you come to this dressing room and you step onto that pitch, you work hard. You don't have to be the best in the business, you don't have to be the greatest thing on earth or a match winner straight away. But if you give 110% when you cross that white line, we can't ask for any more. Forward, engage! Guys, keep going! Keep going! That's a lot more powerful. Crouch. Touch. Forward. Engage! Oh, it's going! It's going! Keep going! Keep going! Keep going! Keep going! Keep going. Beautiful. Right, go, 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 <laughs> right, fellas, so we got, you, we got your weights before and after the training session. You, you guys lost between half a litre and a litre of, of fluids. So that's, that's about that much. Okay, and in an 80-minute... 
it's really 90 minute game of rugby if you include the warm up and everything one of the professional guys will lose anywhere between two and four litres depending on their position and to give you a little stat on uh, on the performance uh, <coughs> detrimental effects you get from losing that much weight if you lose two percent of your body weight you lose ten percent contractile strength in the muscle and eight percent uh, speed in the muscle so that's that's how much you're going to affect your performance but um, you, you do tend to get with some individuals like heavy salty sweaters as uh, Smith is the only guy amongst you who suggests that he's a heavy salty sweater <laughs> yeah. right. he, what can I say? Yeah. he was he was wearing he was wearing a sweat vest so he would have been his te body temperature would have been a bit higher than the rest of you guys all right fellas thanks very much, thanks very much. Right, well done. <laughs>